Welcome back to Hanson Field here at halftime where Western Illinois trails Indiana State 13 to nothing. I'm joined now by new baseball head coach here at Western, Ryan Brownlee. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, Aaron. And you've been watching the football game. What's been your thoughts about that first half? Uh, I think our football coaches knew it was going to be a little bit of a defensive battle, but then Indiana State obviously breaks one loose there. And, you know, I should feel a little bit better right now if they could have kept it at 6 nothing. But but hopefully we can make some adjustments at halftime and come out ready for the second half. Now more about what you're here to do. Just introduced a couple weeks ago as the new baseball head coach. Coming from Iowa City, used to coach, be an assistant there for the University of Iowa. What types of things are you hoping you can do with this program as, as a new head coach? You know, I've, I told our guys that when I first got here, you know, I don't want to put any expectations on them right now. I think sometimes guys look way too far down the road, and, and the, the main thing I'm trying to help those guys through is getting better every day. And If we get better tomorrow and then worry about the next day and then the next day, if you can build some great practices, you're going to get to where you need to get to in the spring. And I'm extremely happy with the way our guys have attacked the last three weeks. Um, it, they've done everything that we've asked of the coaching staff. And, uh, you know, I told them, if, if you come out every day, if you're on time, if you make good decisions, you're not going to have too many problems with me. And, and they've done a good job. Our energy has been extremely good at practice. And, and guys are excited. Um, we try to keep things fresh for guys. I know with baseball it's hard sometimes because it can get boring, but we try to liven things up and, and hopefully guys come out and are excited to be there. And they've done that, so I've been extremely happy. Now your introductory press conference, you mentioned how you kind of had them keeping lists of their goals and things that they want to yeah. keep going. Can you explain a little bit about that? You know, the immediate stuff is the time management planner, and, and that's the huge key to being successful as a college athlete is being able to manage your time. And once we get through fall baseball, then we'll start to talk about individual goals and what type of goals they have for the spring. But right now, we're really trying to get them on a time management planner for their academics more than anything else. And, and talking to our guys, they turn it in every week to, our, to us. They're starting to enjoy it. I know it's a little tedious at, uh, tedious at first when they get started, but now they're starting to see the benefits of it. Um, and it's going to help those guys in the long run. It's a life skill more than it is anything else. You mentioned fall baseball tomorrow. You have a fall exhibition against Blackhawk Community College. Yep. You said you guys are kind of chomping at the bit to get out there and maybe play some different t different talent than yeah than Western. You know, we we did that at, at Iowa the last five years and it worked out great for our guys there. And I'm excited for our guys because we're at that point now where you get tired of of inter squatting against each other. And as a coach, you want to see how they're going to handle playing somebody else because it. It looks completely different in practice, and then you get against an opponent, and you're going to see a different side of some guys, and, and I've talked to the guys about that. Hopefully we don't change a thing from what we've been doing in practice, but that's why you go play somebody else, because you want to see them against somebody else and see how they're going to handle that. There's a different type of pressure when you play somebody else. Now with this team that you kind of inherited, I know when listening to you at your opening press conference, you mentioned a couple guys decided to kind of stick around, stay, stay as coaches. Can you talk a little bit about the process of seeing if or getting people to stay Stick yeah, around. you know, Matt Aguera and Dan Russell both were, were seniors last year, and, and I knew those guys a little bit, but not very much. But besides our assistants that we have, the student assistants, I felt like it was important to contact those guys because everything I'd heard about both those guys was, was very positive from their junior college coaches to guys that had been on the team. So anytime you can get more guys out there to help coach with baseball, you're going to be in much better shape because there's so much to cover in practice, and it just helps to have extra hands out there. Now looking at the team that you inherited, what types of things are you kind of expecting out of this team? What types of baseball are we going to be kind of seeing? Is it going to be more small ball, or is it swinging for the fences? Uh, you know, with the makeup of our team and what we've seen so far, we do have a little bit of speed, um, but we got some guys that can bop it around, and, and I'm not smart enough as a coach to, to be able to say, hey, we've got to play a certain style. Our style is going to be dictated by our personnel. Um, so we're going to have to let it go for a little bit here and see where we're at. I, I'd like to put some action on some guys. I don't think it's small ball. You go to the College World Series every year, you're going to see teams execute offensively. And I think that's more what it is. It's not small ball. It's actually offensive execution. You know, I, I think you can score a ton of runs without having to hit home runs because in the Midwest, there's going to be certain days with the wind that I don't care how big and strong you are, you're not going to be able to get the ball out of the ballpark. So you're going to have to find ways to score runs even if you're not bopping it out of there. So. And right now, no official schedule for the spring that I've seen so far. It's getting reviewed right <laughs> now. Uh, 
I can tell you we're going to be at Arkansas the first weekend. I, I know that one's going to get cleared, and, and we're looking forward to going there because they were in the World Series last year. And that's going to be a great challenge for our guys. And, and hopefully every year our schedule is going to be like that where we're going to play some, some very, very good programs. And hopefully we get to that point where we're going to go to Omaha and, and see where we're at. Okay, But I want our guys to, to see that environment. And again, it's another challenge to put guys in, in an environment and see if they can handle being uncomfortable put in different situations. And looking forward to maybe a couple years down the road, what types of things are you hoping this program can achieve? You mentioned the College World Series getting to Omaha. Do you think in maybe two, three years that is a realistic goal for this team? You know, again, I don't like to put those type of expectations on our guys because you start looking too far down the road, and every season is going to be different. Now, if you play well every game, you have a legitimate chance to go to the World Series. Now, the key is getting your guys to be able to be consistent on a daily basis. And any coach will tell you, any player will tell you that's played for a long time, that's the hardest thing with baseball is being able to handle that. They call it the grind. I don't think it's a grind because if you're passionate about it, you're going to be okay. But people call it a grind because it's it's almost like Groundhog Day where it's going to be the same today, it's the same tomorrow, and hopefully your guys can, can handle that and come out every day and be ready to play. And that's going to do it here. Thank you for joining yeah, me, Coach very much. Brownlee. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and hopefully yep. we'll be able to see you a lot more in the future. Right now we're going to take a quick break. Western Illinois down 13 nothing at halftime. We'll be right back with halftime stats right after this.